If you are planning on an 18 or 24 volt upgrade to your kids' power wheels, you should consider using an e-bike electronic speed controller or ESC along with the Hall Effect variable speed pedal to protect the plastic gears and motor. This video will show you what materials you need and how to wire up your ESC. The materials are linked in the video description below. Before we get started, if you could hit the subscribe button, that will help me out and also help you find my videos quicker when searching. We are going to follow this diagram for the ESC upgrade. There are additional instructions on the right hand side, so be sure to read those before ordering your materials. I'll post this diagram at the end of the video as well, but if you have any questions, ask them below. I'll be making a follow-up video to address any common questions that get asked. So let's jump into this. To do this modification, you'll need a variable speed ESC. Now some people confuse this control board as an ESC. It's not. Some people will use this pulse width modulation unit as an ESC, which it technically is a speed control unit. Once you set the speed, that will be output, but it's not variable. Now this is an ESC, but you'll use something like this with a remote control car. Um, not so much what we're going to use with the power wheels. This is the ESC unit that you'll want. Note, you'll also need a special Hall's Effect variable speed pedal or throttle to use with this unit. The stock pedal with your power wheels will not work with this ESC. I have our demo set up and it's pretty easy to follow. The red and black from the battery go to the red and black of the input. The output is yellow and blue and that goes to the motor. And then we plug in our Hall's Effect throttle or pedal. And then you notice it's not working. Here's the biggest question that people ask. It's like, why isn't it working? Well, one of these switches or one of these inputs is actually for an on off switch. Since we're not going to use one, you can either cut this off and twist tie these wires together or create a jumper, jumper cable. So let's see. You should know that you'll most likely need to cut a square hole on the floorboard of the car because when you press down the pedal, it needs more space to travel than what the car's floor has available. One step that I wanted to call out is that you'll need to remove the stock positive wiring that runs into the shifter. On this peg perigo, it's the white wire and replace it with your own wire and female spade connector that you'll need to make. One last thing you guys should know is that the existing stock pedal will be used as the brake pedal in this wire diagram. So if you have any questions as you're going through this upgrade, leave them in the comment section. I'll try to help you guys out. And don't forget to subscribe.